Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, today's uh, video is uh, another build video from uh, a team that I uh, love a lot and I collect most of uh, well, all of its uh, releases. It's the modular building collection. It used to be the creator expert and now they call it the modular building collection for the past, I believe, three years or something like that under the team icons at the bottom here. This is Lego set uh, 10312, rated 18 plus. If you can see that at the bottom, there's 2,899 pieces, so 2,900 pieces. It is called the Jazz Club and released in January of this year, January 1st, 2023, and retailed for $230. So this is the 2023 release edition of the modular buildings. I believe there's a total of 18 of them. Beautiful set so far, looks like it from the outside. Never built it, uh, I mean, never seen it built actually. So I don't know what it looks like other than what I've seen on pictures and videos. But now I'm gonna have the opportunity to build it and see what it looks like actually in my possession. And of course, I'm gonna add it to my Lego city that I am working on, which hopefully in the next month or so, I'll release it to the Lego community, uh, to my Lego channel, and you guys can tell me what you think. Uh, these are the minifigures that come with it. Uh, there's a total of, uh, quick count here, three, eight of them, and there's two animals, the rabbit and the squirrel, I believe. And I feel, it seems like since it's jazz club, there's some musicians here, I guess that's a singer. Um, there's a, uh, whatever they call that instrument, which looks like a violin, but it's not. Uh, there's the maestro, I believe, or whatever that guy is. And I'm sure there's a chef, uh, I don't know, this guy with the with uh, scissors, so there's a barbershop maybe. I don't know, I guess we'll find out in a second why he's holding scissors. So yeah, there's a quite a few of nice minifigures here. If I flip it to the back, it just shows you the dimensions here at the top. 10 inches in, uh, I guess, in uh, width or length, however you want to look at it, with 26 centimeters and the height is almost 12 inches, 11 and a half, which is equal to 30 centimeters. So uh, it consists of, seems like it, uh, three stories with a roof, the ground floor, the first floor, the second floor, and then you have the, uh, the roof. Uh, some here, some pictures about the, the set itself. And how do you connect it with other modulars? Uh, they're showing it here with the last two modules, uh, the 2022 and the 2021, which is the police station. And uh, I believe that's uh, the hotel, if I'm not mistaken, the 10297. So it's a nice, I like the way they put them together. Actually, it's a nice setup there. So that's pretty much some pictures there. Uh, other than that, looking at the sides, nothing here. Just another picture here. So yeah, pretty much the front and the back. So that's pretty much what I can say about the box. Beautiful box, I mean, black color. I mean, I like the way they're doing the boxes now. It gives that uh, uh, some uniqueness to the set itself. Makes it look nice, I like it. Yeah, I like the touch to it. So now let's open the box and just uh, have a peek uh, what the packaging look like. Uh, usually they, uh, they have another box within the box. Uh, I guess, let's see if this is the one. So yeah, we have some bags here. So I'm gonna take them all off and try to get to that. So these are the bags, just like I expected. There's another box within the box. That's typical usually for big sets like that. Whether it's a modular building or whether it's a Star Wars, um, it's been customary for uh, Lego to have a box inside a box for the big sets. So now the first thing I've noticed that since I'm building it, not collecting it, I guess this box was open before and they retaped it. Should I complain? No, I won't. Because I'm not going to complain for something like that. I'm sure there are collectors out there that they will not like that. So as long as I'm not missing any bag or any parts, I'm going to be happy. So. Taking more bags out, more bags out, and here we get the folder or I guess envelope that holds the instructions. And then we have the plate, 
that's going to be used 32 by 32 studs typical for module building i believe all module buildings are built on a 32 32 plate except one of them uh, that's built on a plate and a half uh, let's open this and see what the content how many instruction manuals we have one or two or four or whatever it is so there it is it's only one so i'm going to put this away so we're only dealing with one manual so this manual is white in color i like that so you could see the uh the building pop out with the white background uh they have all the minifigures on display here in front of the building that's nice and i guess typical uh, as soon as you open the, the instruction the first thing they talk about is a welcome that's typical in lego manuals now they talk a bit about the the set itself sometimes the history of the designer uh, not in this case here it shows you how many bags of you're going to be dealing with so to build this whole thing with just total 15 bags and then the build starts so not much talk is there compared to the star wars or the 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 technique or the create expert builds uh, usually they have some verbiage at the beginning where they talk about the design the project you know the people and the, the set itself but in this case they're going right directly into business let's start building so, with no further ado, uh, let's start building.
So everyone, uh, the build is done. The Jazz Club modular building is done, as you can see here. Uh, it's a nice build. I did enjoy building it. I do like the color combination that they picked up uh, with the dark red and the bluish and the light yellowish or creamish, whatever you want to call it. But um, uh, it really complement each other. Uh, so the ground floor, just let's go through the floors. What do we have here? We have a ground floor, which is the jazz club, the, the live, uh, the stage where you have, I guess, live shows. Could be musical, magic show, per the sign, I guess. Tonight they're playing the live music, jazz, and uh, and the magic show. Outside of it, of course, uh, you have the you have uh, a seating area. For, I guess belongs to the pizzeria. As you can tell, there's a delivery guy there waiting uh, to take the pizza on a scooter. Uh, you have, of course, a ticketing booth over here. So if you didn't get a chance to buy your uh, tickets online or however you buy them, you can always buy them uh, uh, right before you enter the show. Uh, the pizzeria and the jazz club are actually both connected to each other, meaning what I mean by that is that they are one building together, right? So meaning you, as you're in the jazz club, which I'll show you inside in a second, you could just walk in and get your pizza if you're hungry, uh, you know, while watching the show. Uh, so uh, the... Uh, the second floor is pretty much uh, there's a there's an office there, I guess that manages what uh, what shows are going to be playing every night or every week, uh, and then uh, on top of this, uh, there's like a room where you I guess get ready for the shows, uh, you know uh, some details there. There's a couch and uh, there's like a, a dresser or things like that, which I'll show you in a second, and then you have the roof. Uh, the roof is very plain, pretty much in my opinion. They could have added a couple more bricks and just made a couple of things like HVAC or something like that to make it look, you know, I don't know. Uh, I mean, that's what I would have done. Uh, like I said, of that uh, magnitude, uh, almost 3,000 pieces for $230, I'm sure you can throw a couple more bricks there uh, to give it some more detail at the top. Uh, but anyway, they, I guess they give you a squirrel, uh, so that's that. So this is the first part of the building. On the second half of the building, well, the second smaller part, uh, like, like I said, the first one is the pizzeria and the second, Above the pizzeria, you have the tailor, uh, denoted by a sign here. So there's your tailor sign. Uh, so that's nice. They have a tailor shop in house. And then at the top of it, you have the the greenhouse, which is one of my favorite builds, in my opinion. Actually, this is my favorite in the whole building. I, like, I do like the way they build this thing here, and they put the vegetables in it. Uh, so I do like that. The greenhouse, of course, utilized by the pizzeria. They like to uh, make sure they have fresh the vegetables uh, on their pizza so so they go up there and they get what they need uh, there's a lot of greenery uh, additions here so i do like they had some touches on the windows some flowers some pots over here hanging uh, you have some growing uh, uh, vines or flowers on that uh, wall here by the pizzeria so i do like that none of the none of the uh, what you see here there's no sticker everything is printed plates which i do love that i'm not a big i'm not fond of stickers but I do like that every brick you see here that has colors on it or or wording is all printed. And I do like the chimney, the brick oven, the pizzeria chimney, which is a brick oven, uh, it's all going all the way up. So uh, they really uh, made sure that they uh, add that detail to it. Uh, flipping to the back, nothing much in the back actually. It's very plain, very, very plain actually. Here you have your exit from the jazz club. I don't think there's something here, which I don't know what it is. A cabinet of some sort you have the balcony uh, you know so that's pretty much that uh, so nothing much there other than windows uh, so the sides very much plain because you I mean the attention is you're gonna be adding buildings to the sides, so you won't see the sides so and like I said some more details could have been added like tiling the back of it uh, some additions to the roof uh, some more tiling interior but it is what it is I'm just gonna move the scooter a second here uh, here in this side you have the staircases that takes you to all the floors so i think that's nice uh, that they did that uh, let's go ahead and dig deeper or go into each floor let's see if we could do it without moving that so here if you, the roof just comes off uh, pretty much nothing there to it just take it off just like that let's see if i can extend this all the way up with the camera So, uh, so the interior of it, uh, I do like the windows. I just want to bring this up. Uh, the windows is actually, I like the color they did. They use color bricks to create that uh, window uniqueness. I do like that, definitely. Uh, here, like I said, is the staircase. 
that takes you to the from from the uh, from the from the first floor to the second floor. You have the stairs that takes you uh, to the roof, the plain roof here, which has an opening here. Like I said, nothing much to the roof. Uh, not much detail, like I said, very plain, plain, plain. Uh, you have the staircase here, like you know the. Uh, uh, you have the door that takes you to the greenhouse, which is over there. Uh, and then you have the door that takes you to that uh, room here that I was saying, the prep room, I would call it. Uh, the prep room is pretty much where you prep for the shows. In here, the magician is being preparing for a show. There's like a mirror here and there's a couch. If you're a singer, you have your note area there. There's some uh, art wall here, but nothing much other than that. Uh, just gonna put this back here. So yeah, the magician here, she is trying to prep for her next show. It's, like I said, it's a live music show followed by a magic show. So hence she's sitting here waiting for her turn. So that's pretty much about the about this floor. Like I said, uh, some details, not much. Could I, like I said, could have been done better, but it is what it is. Uh, if I take this out, the greenhouse, like I said, not much to talk about here. You just open this out. I like the unique of the buildness of it. And you have your vegetables here, your fruits, your beans, your carrots, and so on and so forth. So I do like the touch, the complement, the pizzeria. So that goes away. Uh, I'm just gonna close this for a second. Make sure I have enough room to open everything up. And now we go to the next floor. The next floor comes all one shot. This is where I said is the, the office, management office with the tailor shop. So the inside of it, you have the staircase here. Uh, the staircase that bring you from the ground floor uh, to this we have a door to the balcony at the back here plain balcony um, i don't see what anyway it is there for whatever reason uh, the outside of it more windows colorful windows i like that uh, the stairway is like i said the hall is very plain nothing there not even an artwork not even tiles nothing other than the window uh, you have the office management office uh, again, it's all right, I guess. It, uh, it shows down to the stage. You can see the stage from this office. So they manage the shows that's going to be playing every day. You have a desk, lamp, and office. The lady that manages the shows. You have another extra chair there. You have some artwork here. Uh, and then you have the gramophone, you know, the old record player. I guess that's a nice touch to it, being a jazz club, right? Uh, but other than that, nothing much. Like I said, could have added a couple more things there, but it is what it is. Uh, and then you have the tailor shop. The, you have the sewing machine. You have the mannequin. You have the yarn. You have the, the I guess the cloth. Uh, you know where he, the tailor is trying to cut something here. I guess he's working on some dress or something for someone. Uh, I like the way they build the sewing machine. Uh, so that's actually kind of nice. There's a piece of cloth here. I guess mimicking that is being I guess right now tailored. Uh, but that's pretty much it of uh, you know uh, about it. I mean. Uh, you have a lamp here, I guess. That looks like a lamp to me, maybe. I don't know. I'm not a tailor here, but could be something with ta tailoring or sewing. I don't know. But that's pretty much all about it. Like I said, could have added more tiles, flooring, I guess, a couple of pictures. But it is what it is. So that's pretty much the second floor, all one piece. Last but not least, the main, the main focus here is the pizzeria and the jazz club. As you can tell there. So if we take this up, like I said, and just show you what it looks like. Uh, so I'm gonna move this. From here, you can see uh, you have the pizzeria here. Uh, you have the entrance to the pizzeria, which is kind of cool. I like the color of it, very light color, complementing the dark. Uh, but you have the brick oven, of course, which pizzeria doesn't have that. You have the condiments at the top, you know, the, oh, I guess the oil, the ketchup, the sauce, whatever they use for making pizza. You have the cashier here. You have a pizza made already that I guess uh, waiting for the customer to get it, or maybe it's going to the live show. Somebody's hungry there, so I don't know. Uh, but uh, whatever uh, imagination you have, you have the chef here making another piece of dough here. So I like that. You know, there's some they had some tile flooring there, uh, and you know, you have the condiments, some cheese there, some I guess uh, green. So I don't know what I guess maybe green peppers to put on the pizza, and then you have the hot dog there. Uh, you know, to put it on the pizza. Or some kind of meat, if you like a uh, meat lover pizza. So, so I like the pizzeria. Uh, you know, they gave us some detail there. Like I said, could I add it more? Yes, I could. Maybe a picture of a pizza, something like to, I guess, uh, you know, about Sicily or something. You know, where pizza came from. I don't know. I would have added something like that. 
Uh, maybe I would have tiled those two bricks here so you don't see them, the, the studs here. I would have added maybe uh, one by two tile over here and one over there. You know, just simple details, you know, I, I pay attention to these things. Uh, then you have the entrance to take you to the jazz club where the big action is going on. In the jazz club, I guess, they were able to squeeze the bathroom, which is kind of cool. The only bathroom in the building. So they were able to squeeze that. So that's nice of them. So I guess people can have a place to relief. And the stage here is a simple stage. Uh, they're seating around the stage, uh, tables and chairs with some drinks on them. Typical uh, stage uh, for playing, I guess, uh, music and a magic show. At the, at currently, the live, the, the band is uh, setting up and uh, they're getting ready for the live show. Uh, you have the drummer, you have the bass player, and you have the singer. So they're rehearsing a bit uh, on the stage. At the stage, you have some curtains here, as you can tell, and some uh, lighting there. So yeah, so I guess... Uh, it's nice, you know, uh, just the ticketing booth at the back here, you know, uh, with the ticket, I guess, for somebody to buy, if you're a jazz. The jazz club sign, I guess, sturdy. I like do like that. Uh, compared to the other modular with the hotel sign, it was a bit flimsy. You touch that thing, it will fall off. But this one is pretty much held in place. Uh, the technique is nice. So, yeah, so that's pretty much it where the jazz club is, where the live show happens. Just gonna put this here for now. So that's pretty much uh, what it all looks like, uh, you know, the, the 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 building itself. And now putting it back straight forward. So I'm just gonna take this back down, and I'm gonna reassemble it while talking to you guys. So yeah, assembling it is straightforward. Uh, nothing much there. You just pretty much all you do, you just pile them on top of each other, make sure they click there. Then you take this baby here, you put it over here, and you make sure it clicks. And last but not least, you take your greenhouse and you just make sure it's there snugged in. And there it is, you have your jazz club modular building ready to go into the city. Like I said, a couple of things I would have done differently, uh, set up that magnitude, like I said, with $230, you know, you could have added a couple more bricks, you know, I, in my opinion, like I said, uh, touch up uh, in the pizzeria, maybe something on the roof, uh, you know, some tiles, some maybe artwork on the walls, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I don't know, uh, something of that, you could do that. So most probably I'll end up doing it myself. I have some extra pieces laying around. I might just give it that touch. I know you won't see them, they're inside, but you know, it's all about, uh, you know, a product that, uh, you know, you give that, you know, product, you know, close to, I guess, uh, I guess you can have perfection, I know that, but, you know, close to that, right? But anyway, so this is it, uh, this is the build, hopefully you enjoyed the video, hopefully you enjoyed the the, the build, um, uh, and as always, uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, help my channel grow in the LEGO community, uh, hopefully trying to reach the 1,000 members soon this year, if possible, uh, hit the like and share the notification button, so you can keep up with my materials, related to Legos um, and then uh, as always uh, please follow me on Instagram if you are not already doing so and the next video let's keep building